Hey everyone, it's me, Alex, and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your IPVO VZX or VZR to your computer or to a TV or projector via the HDMI cable. So it's super easy. Uh, we'll go to the steps on how to do this. Please note, if you have the VZR, uh, you are going to have to always have it plugged into power. So no matter what, if you want to plug it into your TV or the projector, you're going to have a, you are going to have to have a power cable plugged in. On the VZX, if you have it fully charged, you're not. Uh, you can just plug it into your uh, projector TV and it's ready to go without power. So now let's go ahead and connect it to a TV or a projector. Actually I'll plug it into a TV for right Okay now. so this is the view behind the IPVO VZX or VZR depending on what you're using. If you have the VZX and want to plug it into a TV all you do is plug in the cable and make sure the power switch is turned on. And then you'll go ahead and turn on your TV or projector and we'll, I'll get you a better view to that. So here is under the document camera, there's the IPVO VZX or VZR. And this is what is coming out on the image. So this is what's coming out of the camera. This is right here, the camera right here. And that's what's coming out. But if you have the VZR, you're going to have to get your USB-C cable, plug it into the back, and plug it into a power device. That can be your computer or, uh, not projector, but probably the easiest, your computer. And that would be uh, powered on now, and you'll be getting the image on your projector or your TV. The other way is using Wi-Fi mode. If this feature is only available on the VZX, so the VZR is not supported with wireless. To get wireless, you can either use a phone or a computer as well. You just need to make sure that you are connected to the Wi-Fi network of the camera. Then here, or on the camera first, you are going to want to make sure it is turned on. You should see a green light. Then on the back here, let me get you a closer Always view. Always know that that green light means that it's receiving power, which this is also on the um, VZX and VZR. So what you're going to want to do is flip the camera around and look for this uh, switch. It should be right there, only on the VZX. So as you can see, it says Wi-Fi mode. You're going to turn this up. And then once you do that, it would take about, let's say, 10 seconds to turn on, but down there, or up there, that amber light means that Wi-Fi is on. So you are now going to go to your iPad and go to Wi-Fi settings, and you're going to look at the bottom of the camera for the SSID down there provided. And then I'll get you a view to the iPad now. Okay, so now that you're in Wi-Fi mode, uh, you're gonna have to get your device that you want to plug in or uh, your, uh, what do you call it, computer. It, um, I'm gonna show you on the, an iPad. So here, now you should be seeing the iPad screen on your screen. So you're gonna want to go to settings. You are going to click on Wi-Fi. And you're, like I said, you're gonna have to look at the bottom of your VZX to find its SSID, connect to it. It's a free network, so no passwords. And you're gonna open Visualizer. Once you do that, you should be able to get a live screen right here. So you can see it here, are all your settings, zoom. You can go ahead and zoom in. Zoom out, oops, zoom out. If you do not automatically get the camera, you're gonna have to click that camera button, click LAN connection to IPVO wireless cam, and you're gonna click your camera. Once you do that, that should be very easy. You can take pictures here, and you'll get to take a picture. So that's wireless mode. And once you turn off the computer, I mean, your camera, sorry, uh, it'll just go back, your iPad or device that you're using will automatically go back to its normal Wi-Fi network on your home. So that's pretty much it, the basics of the VZX. Please note that this wireless feature is only on the VZX, not VZR. So this video would have been helpful too if you have a VZR. Just make sure that if you are going to plug it into a computer or in a TV, you are going to have a pa you are going to have to pass power to it. If you're using the uh, this goes for both. If you're using the USB cable and plugging it to your computer, Windows or uh, Chromebook or Mac then it will just automatically pass power. There's just one cable for the VZX and VCR. 
So that's pretty much it, the basics of the VZX and VZR. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. That's pretty much it. Please make sure to like and subscribe for more, um, more helpful videos and have a great day. Goodbye.